Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Yeah, we're all uh, shaven haven ladies. Uh, today, I'm not saying that I'm ahead of the curve, but <laughs> in recent times, I say recent times, over the last few months, I've done videos both on King, uh, owing substantial tax, <laughs> and being charged substantial tax for trying to dodge it, and also, I did a video in April about how Activision Blizzard had paid zero dollars in federal tax. In actual fact, they had paid minus $228 million due to uh, tax breaks and write-offs, despite having huge amounts of profit, despite having huge amounts of turnover. But that was just it. It was the way that Activision Blizzard were shifting their profits around the place. And they were causing tax loopholes. They were taking advantage of tax loopholes. A very basic example of this would be that uh, they would actually have the IP that they own registered to a, a basement in Florence or something like that or, or somewhere in the Netherlands. And it would create this tax loophole because... They would say that America, where they sold the IP, was responsible for the tax. And America was saying, well, well no, it's where the IP is owned, is where the tax is owned. So it's causing this, this loop. That's a very basic kind of way of, of phrasing it. But they were, they were creating lots of little tax loopholes uh, that was allowing them to get away with paying zero in federal tax. Remember in February where uh, Bobby Kotick, uh, uh, before he fired 800 people, uh, spoke about record year and record profits and best time to be a chef, never mind. Uh, so, things have gotten a little bit more severe. <laughs> Your punishment must be more severe for uh, Blizzard because they are being investigated for tax irregularities all over the place. Not only that, they have actually come out, as we'll see shortly, and have said that we're, we're going to start working with some countries to figure out what the appropriate amount of tax is. However, the appropriate amount of tax for Blizzard is going to be considerably different from the appropriate amount of tax that a country actually wants off it. Let's just be honest here. So let's just go through some bullet points. This is taken from Tax Watch org uh taxwatchuk.org again uh, i'll link this in the description box down below it was great when we used this uh the other the other week uh activision blizzard publisher of hit games Call of duty world of wowcraft and candy crush moved five billion euros to companies in bermuda and barbados between 2013 and 2017, 2017 tax havens, by the way, documents reveal. The company is currently under investigation by tax authorities in the UK, Sweden, Sved, and France over alleged transfer pricing irregularities and is facing a potential bill of over $1.1 billion dollars in back taxes and penalties couldn't happen to a nicer company in the u.s activision blizzard has recently settled a transfer pricing dispute with tax authorities for 345 million dollars by the way that goes all the way back to 2009 to 2011 a lot of time has passed since then a lot more tax irregularities since then. <clears throat> and the multinational com uh, company has a complex structure with subsidiaries in a number of tax havens, including Malta, the Netherlands, Barbados, and Bermuda, which just so happened to come up with this shifting of 5 billion euros between 2013 and 2017 now this is a, a long complex art, uh, article so like i said i am going to link it in the description box so you can uh, go through it at your leisure i'm gonna pick up midway through the uh, first section let's just go through here first 
The company has had a controversial tax history in recent years. Activision Blizzard recently settled with the IRS uh, an examination of the company's 2009 to 2011 tax returns. This saw the company having to make an additional tax payment of $345 million dollars in relation to transfer pricing issues, which they're currently being investigated for in three other countries, UK, Sweden, and France. So I'm sure that's going to go down well. In 2018, the French tax authority handed Activision Blizzard a bill of $652 million following a transfer pricing investigation into one of the company's French subsidiaries for the tax years 2011 to 2013. That was 20, 2009 to 2011, now 2011 to 2013. The company says it vigorously disputes the claim, even though it's settled for the previous one, which means we're vigorously going to try and get the mount down, if possible. The Swedish tax authority handed the company a $400 million bill in 2018 following an audit of their 2016 tax year. The company also says it will vigorously contest the claim. It will vigorously contest it until they can get it lowered down to something that they would rather prefer. The company is also subject to other ongoing tax investigations and demands. Responding to these controversies, Activision Blizzard have suggested that the company is now seeking to mend its ways. The company told the Sunday Times, We have proactively engaged with and continue to fully cooperate with both Her Majesty's Customs and other tax administrations globally to agree to the proper amount of tax due in each jurisdiction during a period of changing policies and rules. Obviously, proper amount of tax will differ significantly. As we can see, they are saying that they will vigorously contest both of these tax bills which have been passed on to them. For King, since the acquisition, we have been reviewing the structures in place and we are seeking multilateral conversations among the UK, Sweden, Malta and US tax authorities by which those respective administrations would allocate our income among their respective jurisdictions. Now we're going to see in a second why they're actually... Uh, referring to this we are a committed employer in the uk this is important because we're going to look at this in a moment as well and look forward to reaching a final conclusion on the allocation of our of our taxable income around the world now this is very important this uk one so keep this in your mind folks keep this in your mind for a little bit later in the video not too far but going back to the one just before it with uk sweden malta you can see how they have their IP licenses shifted across to the Netherlands and Bermuda, tax havens. That's where they actually have their licenses hold. So tax-wise, if the tax authority says that it's the origin of the company of the IP that needs to be taxed and it's stuck in a tax haven, da, 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 da. however, they distribute the royalties from the tax haven to the companies. So the money comes into the tax break, to the tax haven, and then the money comes out directly and through into the other companies without having seen taxation. Now, I want to go on to the UK one. I want to go on to the UK one. This is really important. If I just shift this uh, across slightly so you can see. Here we go. In the UK, let's just look at 2009 to start with. The turnover was 455 million, okay, in turnover. And profit before tax which you can't quite see. Let me just uh, scooch this up a little bit. 
is 22.3 million pounds. Tax, 4 million, 4.1 million. Profit, 18.1 million. Everything seems to be in order when it comes to 2009, at least in the structure that the way the taxes are produced. You know, gross profit, you've got your administration, uh, you've got your distribution costs, you've got your operating costs, etc. But now, going to 2017, which was uh, a decent year for Blizz, 75 million turnover in the UK, working off a profit of only 516,000 uh, £516, pounds. That is it. That is it. And with taxes being 8 million, they actually operated off a minus 7.5 million. Minus the UK Activision Blizzard minus seven and a half million pounds in 2017. Hmm. 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 Very interesting indeed. So. Yeah, when you just go back up here to say we are a committed pl uh, employer in the UK and look forward to reaching a final conclusion on the allocation of our taxable income around the world, there's uh, a lot of questions which need to be asked as to how come turnover is significantly decreased and also how is profitability literally now in the negatives. Bearing in mind, of course, that one year later, the announcement came record profits, record turnover, and all that kind of jargon. So, let's just scooch down to, because I don't want to get too bogged into this. We've been going on for this for a fair bit. Conclusions and recommendations. Activision Blizzard has a highly complex corporate structure, which involves subsidiaries in Malta, Netherlands, Ireland, Bermuda, and Barbados. When analysing the money flows around these companies, it seems clear that these structures are designed to minimise taxation on the profits made by Activision Blizzard outside of the US. The company is now saying it's seeking to engage with tax authorities to see what the appropriate amount of profit and tax is in these countries where they operate. However, Given that the company has told investors, this is what I said, given that companies have been told investors that it will vigorously defend large claims for back taxes being made by the Swedish and French tax authorities, it would suggest that what Activision sees as appropriate may not match the expectations of those working in various tax authorities. The use of royalty payments to move billions in profits to offshore tax havens is common in the digital sector. The UK government has tried to introduce rules to deal with these schemes. However, these new rules are known to be ineffective because of the way in which a number of tax haven jurisdictions are exempt from them. That goes back to the filtering the IP into the tax havens and then taking out the royalties untaxed, distributing it amongst the companies. In case, uh, the case of Activision Blizzard is just another example demonstrating the need for governments to include more effective measures to deal with royalty-based tax avoidance schemes. There's no bones about it. It is a tax avoidance scheme by this uh, company. In the UK, this means changing legislation to make sure the royalty payments made to companies in jurisdictions where the UK has a tax treaty are included in the charge to income tax. So basically, they are getting away with murder to the tune of just over 5 billion euros, and that's only between 2013 and 2017 and as we've seen they are getting looked at and attempted to get some tax back for years and years before then activision blizzard well i'd say i'm surprised but let's be honest i'm not but it's nice to know that again i must stress this 
through all their tax dodging, through all their uh, tax loopholes that they go through, for all the royalties, the billions in royalties that they take tax-free, they still managed, in their good heart, to sack 800 people this year to cut down those operational costs. Good on you. Good on you. So I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming. Links are in the description box down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.